Hello viewers, Jai Makali. Welcome to this video where I will be discussing about Moon in the Aries Zodiac sign that is Aries Moon sign, Mesh Rashi. Moon is all about emotions, your mind, your mother. Mars is all about fire. Aries Moon sign literally means Moon in the house of Mars. So what does this astrological position of the Moon translate to? Your mind and emotions would be strong and your mother would be of such nature that she will be aggressive and disciplined and she will keep you disciplined too. Aries Moon sign take decisions instantly and never tend to revert. Once they make a plan, that plan is final. After that, it is just a one-way ticket for them to implement that plan. They don't dilly-dally. They don't waste time through indecision. The moon rules the emotional self. So, when the moon is in Aries, watch out. Aries moon sign is not known for restraint. They are impulsive and enthusiastic about their decisions. If an idea strikes them, they are the first on the bandwagon to make it a reality without stopping to think about any obstacles that may be in their way. Spontaneous and determined, they let their heart rule their head. Aries moon sign is happy, optimistic and impatient. They live for the moment, forgetting everything else. Instant gratification is their middle name. They are passionate and have no qualms about sharing how they feel. At the same time, they can be very independent. They don't like to take no for an answer. They have the self-confidence to put themselves out there and they want to make a strong impression on the world. Subtle does not describe the Aries moon sign people. They are well suited to meeting challenges that may destroy other people. They are clever and often approach their situations with a novel angle. Occasionally, there are the few who may blame everything on other people. Aries moon sign people take everything personally, but they don't hold grudges against anyone. If they feel slighted, they will burst out angrily and let those responsible know about it. Their emotions can rapidly change and they can throw some spectacular tantrums. These emotional outbursts are usually over as quickly as they started. They don't normally take any time to consider the consequences of their actions. They seem to be able to just shrug off anything that goes wrong and keep going. They tend to calm down as they get older. Aries moon sign people get easily bored. They have been accused of causing confrontations just to keep things interesting. If you live with the Aries moon sign person, keep this in mind. It may make it easier for you to deal with that drama that is bound to occur with Aries moon sign people. They like to get their own way and can resent any authority besides their own. At their worst, Aries moon sign can be overconfident, aggressive, self-indulgent and foolhardy. At their best, they can be inspiring, kind, sympathetic, generous and tireless for a cause. Aries moon sign has a problem differentiating between a need and a want. If they want it, they feel they need it with all their being. This can be a problem for overspending or other vices. They are very charming people. Even when they are in the midst of a personal crisis, they have their friends scrambling to help them. 
in the middle of these frequent crises they seldom feel any concern over the needs of others on the good side the aries moon sign isn't likely to sulk if they don't get their way aries moon sign people play it straight they don't go for manipulating others through guile or deception they have an aura of innocence around them they can achieve what many other people want but don't take the chance to get it they like the idea of being in a position of authority and will probably handle it very well even if they feel awkward in that position of power their strong personality doesn't allow them to give up on something they think is important that's why the moon in the aries sign brings out their fiery nature rather than emotions the aries moon sign people usually move on just as fast as they get angry so be patient during an argument with them everything will blow over soon and it will be like it never happened this may be frustrating for some but other people appreciate their ability to forgive and forget that's what keeps them on track and focused and this is what makes them loyal friends and loving partners also today i'm going to tell you all the remedy on how you victims can nullify the bad effects of afflicted moon your moon which is in the aries sign i mean the aries zodiac sign by afflicted moon i mean the planet moon is in conjunct or aspected by rahu ketu or saturn if you aries moon sign people are under the influence of rahu ketu or saturn you can neutralize the evil effects through this remedy if an afflicted moon is traumatizing you and not letting you eat think work drink or sleep then you all can complete this remedy which i'm going to tell you all you will soon find that joy fun happiness laughter that life full of positive energy soon you will start to experience that mental joy in life which was totally destroyed here is the solution for you all here is the remedy for you all if you are longing that you or your near or dear one leads a normal life then listen to this carefully and execute the remedy with full faith and full belief your road to a calm life starts now there are three steps of this remedy the first step is that on a full moon night that is purnamashi you have to take eight pieces of camphor eight spoons of salt eight spoons of sugar and a spoon of rice place all these things on a white cloth and tie that cloth take that white cloth in your hand now remember your god and rotate it 13 times around your head in an anti clockwise direction once this process is complete take that white cloth bundle put some oil on it and burn it outside your house or your building the second step is that on a full moon night that is purnamashi you have to take two threads one thread should be white and the other should be red hold both the red and the white threads together and tie four knots on it the knots should be tied in such a manner that they are approximately equal distance from each other now take eight pieces of dried red chilies and rotate those eight pieces of dried red chilies around those white and red threads you should rotate those eight dried red chilies eight times around those threads and then throw those eight pieces of dried red chilies in a sewer the final step is that you have to give 13 rupees to eight different poor people that is 
104 rupees in total on a Monday. You have to give this for 8 consecutive Mondays. If you are staying abroad, give a dollar and 30 cents to 8 different poor people on a Monday. If you do these remedies with faith and belief, I can guarantee y'all that you will get relief from that afflicted moon in the next 90 days. Ladies and gentlemen, if y'all think you need a stronger remedy against that afflicted moon, then I wish to inform y'all that with the blessings of my God, Jai Ma Kali, I do a special prayer for people who have an afflicted moon. The cost of that prayer comes to 2600 rupees. If you are sending the money from abroad, please send 43 US dollars. People who wish to get this prayer done for themselves or relatives may contact me over the WhatsApp. If these remedies of mine solve your problem, which I am sure it will, then please like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with your family and friends so that they also benefit from these remedies. Subscribing to my YouTube channel can also protect y'all in your life and can help y'all to avoid possible disasters in your life. Well, if y'all wish to know your future through astrology and live the best version of yourself, if y'all want a life full of love, peace, positivity, happiness and prosperity, if y'all want to take your life from the ridiculous to the sublime, from nothing to something, then y'all can contact me over WhatsApp. Have a great day and a great life ahead. God bless y'all. Jai Ma Kali.